The recent equipment update changed a lot of things in Clash of Clans, but one of the biggest things it has done is made rushing the undeniable meta in 2024. In this video, we're going to break down the original benefits to rushing, talk about the new benefits to rushing after the update, and talk about why rushing is an absolute no-brainer for most people in Clash of Clans. Now, the first reason to consider rushing is because without it, you're actually not completing most of the game. In the chart in the background, you guys can see the total time in days it takes to complete both the buildings and the research in Clash of Clans for each town hall level. Now this is a little difficult to interpret so let's look at the percentages. Now this chart of percentages makes it clear that a majority of this time is in the later town hall levels with 58% of all builder time and 55% of all research time coming from after town hall 14. This means that for the amount of time that you're actually not at the later town hall levels of the game you're not touching more than 50% of the total time to max. This is especially important when we consider the implications of magic items. This is because magic items can complete any upgrade instantly, so you'd rather be using it on those really long upgrades at the higher town hall levels. This is why I recommend using magic items on upgrades longer than 12 days, so we can get that maximum benefit and chip off as much time from that time to max as possible. Not to mention that hammer completely ignore the cost of the upgrade so that the more expensive the upgrade the more value you get out of the hammer so by rushing not only do you get access to the later town hall levels and that time to max that they offer but you also get better use out of your magic items to tackle that time to max quickly and efficiently now on the note of magic items let's go ahead and talk about how rushing can help you in clan war leagues as well the way that CWL matchmaking works is it doesn't really matter what your war weight is. The only thing that really matters is the league that you're in when determining who you get matched with. Thus, it's really important that you can hit hard offensively, and this is why I always recommend to complete your offensive upgrades even if you're rushing. If you max things like the army camps and laboratories out, a simple power potion and hero potion can make you completely on par with any maxed player at your town hall level. The best part about this is because you're going through those town hall levels so fast you're going to be performing a lot better and thus getting more medals more medals equals more hammers equals more time saved off that crazy time to max for the game as you can see the benefits to rushing really feed in on each other and help you progress a lot faster but not all benefits have to do with efficiency though some are actually just to do with fun this is due to the fact that when you rush you unlock newer and more powerful features of the game a lot earlier such as the pet house and the new defenses that we got for Town Hall 16. This isn't just a one-time benefit though, because if we get any new features for the game as well, you're more likely to be affected by it if you're at the higher Town Hall levels. Not to mention that unlocking Sneaky Goblins and stronger level Sneaky Goblins will not only make your farming more efficient, but it will also make the grind a lot less grueling and difficult. So why make yourself wait for pets and other really cool features of the game and be inefficient at the same time, it doesn't really make sense. Okay, but enough about all the old benefits to rushing, let's talk about why the new equipment update made rushing an absolute power move. Now anyone who's watched any of my guides on equipment already know that it's best to invest into one piece of equipment at a time, and that one piece is usually the eternal tome. However, you can't really do that unless you get to Town Hall 14 since that's where the max level of all common equipment gets unlocked at blacksmith level 7. This means getting to that level a lot faster will allow you to have maxed equipment a lot faster, overall increasing the amount of power that you have in all of your offense. Rushing allows you to unlock all of the common pieces of equipment a lot faster as well. As you guys can see in the chart in the background that shows what equipment pieces are unlocked at what level. And remember, this is true not only for equipment but also buildings and research, you can't work on something that you haven't unlocked yet. 
So instead of waiting to unlock important things, just unlock everything and then do the important ones first. But having max leveled equipment does nothing if you don't have ores, right? That's why we need to talk about why rushing gets you more ores as well. Let's talk leagues and star bonuses since that's the main way most players are going to generate their ores. Now we should all know that it isn't impossible to push all the way to higher leagues as a lower town hall level, but it's a really difficult task. Even when you unlock sneaky goblins at town hall 11 they're pretty low level unless you keep upgrading when you rush your town hall you can upgrade those goblins or any one army composition to max and completely wreck other bases and make pushing really easy for you this is really important because if you get to those higher leagues you can get more ores per day and if you get more ores per day and you have the equipment levels unlocked this is a really good combination but rushing is also really helpful in war as well since rushing will increase your war weight. This is because the core defenses like the Scattershot, Infernos, or Monolith contribute a lot more to the war weight than things like Cannons or Archer Towers. Having more war weight means you'll be higher in the war rank meaning you'll attack higher bases and get more ores. But because you're rushed, you're not going to be able to take them down, right? Not true, since you can use a power potion and hero potion to completely max any army composition for your town hall level, and this will make it extremely easy for you to hit hard in war, especially due to the fact that you can just casually buy hero potions every single week from the raid metal shop. So no matter which way you look at it, rushing not only helps you by giving you access access to those higher level equipment upgrades but gets you the ores so that you can make those upgrades in the first place. On the note of using potions for war though, let's talk about the hero potion and how the rework made rushing very powerful. First of all, the hero potion makes your heroes maxed for your town hall level, so the higher you rush your town hall, the more levels you get out of your hero potion. This is an absolutely crazy change and it's one that I'm really happy with because it helps rushers enjoy the game a lot more. The other thing to consider is that the hero potion works on pets too but if you don't have pets unlocked in the first place you're actually wasting some of the effectiveness of these hero potions we're talking about throwing away a ton of power simply because you're not at town hall 14 yet and having max pets next to your heroes allows you to hit harder in war get more auras for your equipment push higher in trophies get more medals more magic items better use out of those magic items and destroy your time to max in clash of Plans. As you can see, all these aspects of rushing really come together with great synergy to allow you to efficiently upgrade your base and max it as fast as possible. Now those of you who are watching and considering rushing for yourself, you're probably wondering on how you should do this properly. I had a guide on the channel, but it's a little outdated at this point unfortunately. However, if you follow these general rules, you should be in a good spot. Number one, always max your offensive upgrades. This includes army camp, CC, barracks, lab, spell factories, and the pet house. This helps us make the most out of our potions when we use them. Number two, delay your hero upgrades. Don't waste time since you can just use a hero potion to get them up anyways. Number three, upgrade your farming armies and sneaky goblins. Then whatever war army you want to use, e-drags is cheap and easy to do. Number four, get as many levels as possible done on your core defenses after your offensive upgrades. And number five, don't manually upgrade anything longer than 12 days. Wait till you get a magic item to complete those upgrades. Now if you want to rush, that should be a really good guideline for you to start right now. But what if you don't want to rush? I just want to remind you guys that Clash of Clans is a game and you should be able to play it any way that you want to play it. My point in making this video is to not make you feel bad if you don't rush. It's more just to show you guys that rushing is a very efficient way to play now. And for those of you who are considering rushing and you want a step-by-step -step guide, you should check out this playlist right here where I break that down for you so that you can rush properly.